So can you just tell me a bit about um, who you are and why you're here? Yes, uh, my name is Miriam. I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, I work with uh, the Refugee Council in the Netherlands, but here I am as an independent volunteer. And uh, the main reason I'm here is that because I'm really ashamed about the, uh, the European Union. You know, this is not how we should treat people who are fleeing for war. And uh, it's really, it's, it's, it's disgusting, it's amazing, it's dehumanizing, it's terrible. It's, I'm so ashamed and uh, I felt I'm, I'm always posting stuff and my opinions on, the, on Facebook. But um, to make it more stronger and more legi legitimate, uh, I thought I had to be here. I also worked uh, in Leros uh, to help the boat refugees. And um, I think I need to show these people that I'm from the European Union and I'm so ashamed. That's why. And what's, what's happening here today? Uh, people thought that, uh, as far as you know, as the information is correct, people thought that if they would show up at 8,000 at least, uh, they would open the Macedonian border. Uh, they got mixed up uh, information as well. They think that there are German police at the border uh, who are willing to open the border for Syrians. Um, so it's, it's all kind of different rumors. Uh, it looked like there's going to be a big riot, like one hour or two hours ago. They were even uh, uh, handing over lemons uh, in case they got tear gassed again, because five weeks ago it happened. There's many women with small children. There's women breastfeeding in between this this crowd and it was really uh, a, a very dangerous uh, tension but now it's calmed down and people are just sitting here waiting and nobody knows what's going to happen. Can you tell me more a bit about the, the rumors and the information and how, and how that causes chaos when it's false information? Uh, well you see what happens now because there's families who pack their tents, who packed everything and they are seriously uh, thinking that uh, they show up because the, the Macedonian border will open. Some people are here already for six weeks, uh, over 40 days, sitting in the mud. Uh, babies are born here. So they, they think you cannot just leave us here, you know, we're human beings. So all kind of uh, pieces of information are picked up very rapidly and crossed over camp. And then they, they come and they show up and they think, okay, you know, I'm sitting here in line and who knows? But nobody knows. No. And what does, what does Europe's Turkey deal or Europe's actions signify about what Europe thinks of this crisis? Well, the, the European deal is, is it's terrible. I mean, uh, for every person uh, after, the, well, every Syrian after, who entered Greece after the 20th of March, uh, um, the Netherlands thought that it's a good idea to deport them back to Turkey. Turkey for many, many years wasn't a safe country to even let uh, asylum seekers sit in waiting for asylum. You know, uh, uh, Amnesty International said it, the Refugee Council said it, uh, there are reports all over. We didn't want Turkey in the EU because of the uh, human crisis and human situation over there, the human rights, how to handle it. And now they think we can trade people in this way. So it's, uh, it's, it's disgusting.